Hi everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, big updates coming out soon for Animal Crossing, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna be really, really fun. I cannot wait to see all the new videos and the fun streams and just all the fun things that make Animal Crossing even more fun. One of the things that uh, was an immediate thought in my head when the update wasn't like dropped, well, no, when the update was announced and showcased and it was as big as it was, I all of a sudden had this immediate panic of, oh my gosh, I've just finished my island and now they've given us all this new stuff, including Froggy Chair and I have a, I have a full Froggy Island, which is swamp themed and it's more or less finished. So obviously I'm sitting there like, Okay, cool. Well, I actually spent a lot of time working on my islands and now I'm going to have to shimmy it up again. But I feel like Animal Crossing players, I feel they fit into two categories, truly. I feel like we have those who finish islands and they really storm through it and, you know, they end up with so many different islands that are finished. And then the other sort of lot of people are ones who are constantly kind of changing their minds. Um... It can be quite hard to finish an island, either because of time restraints or they just um, maybe struggle with what, if they want to go for a theme, what theme to go for. So obviously that's another thing to consider. So I find there's like two kinds of Animal Crossing designers, I think. Whichever one you fit into, I really, really hope this video helps in some way and I just want to share what I'm going to be doing in order to prepare for the update. So there's two main things. I will go through the one that's like the thing that I am the most in my head about. So I have worked out a way to <laughs> score <laughs> to score each area on my island from green to amber to red. So to explain I will put something here so green, as you would expect, is like needs minimal um, work to it. So I have a very natural island. I don't really, and I think the natural elements are very good. And I think what we're getting in the updates, we're getting a lot of like built up items that are really good for things other than really natural, you know? So, um, so there's, there's that. The first thing I'm going to be looking at on my island is what areas do I think don't need any kind of massive adjustment or, you know, I might swap out one item, but for the most part, they're kind of done. I'm happy with them. I don't think I can improve them in any way. Uh, the second lot is amber. So I would say amber areas are areas where I need to change maybe at least half maybe I need to swap out some items and as I'm talking through this you should be able to see like how I have kind of like what areas I think apply on my island and you might be able to liken it to your island so or even areas where I think now that we have new fencing customized fencing I need to kind of shimmy that around a little bit so that's kind of amber it's just areas where they need I think quite a few items replaced but not uprooting the whole thing so red is a category that I think needs to be uprooted entirely um so when we think about like you know if you've got like a bad pimple or a bad spot you need to like uproot that that sucker well this is what's happening here so i would be looking to remove everything and i have a really good spot on my island that is a probably a very good example for this so it is a spot on my island that i just think there are so many new items i can definitely just uproot the whole thing i'll be much happier doing that than trying to make it um trying to change some little items to make it look better i need to fully uproot it so um i'm gonna sort of work out my map like that now the way i did it was i actually did it on uh well first of all i did it on procreate but i was just getting a bit too pedantic over it so um anything like pixeler canva even paint you just need something where you can kind of create like a box or a circle uh like a, a a non-filled box over the top so that you can kind of like grade them and i'm not saying you have to do any of these but 
if you're anything like me, like I'm a real scatterbrain, but I also like being organized and those things rarely come together. So I have to kind of do these things just to make sure I'm not losing my head. <laughs> So that is what I'm going to be doing and then through my streams I am going to be going through each of these areas and upscaling them, making them look more fancy because we no longer necessarily have to have, you know, a hat with a bag of chips or crisps pattern on it. We don't really need that anymore because we've got these items coming. As far as we're aware they showed a lot in the direct and we've also got cooking my farm area is another thing that needs um i think a lot of work i'm currently using um <laughs> i'm currently using pumpkins fine uh watermelon beach balls and star fragments to look like plants and i think now that we've got actual farming what better way than to change my farm into that same with my all you can eat frog buffet hold on i need to reword that an all-you-can-eat buffet that I have set up for my frogs. <laughs> Please don't come over and like try and eat them. It's, that's, that's not okay with me. Uh, and because now there's loads of... I mean, we've had food items anyway, but now we have such a huge amount of food items that there's... And like even more counters and more like kitchen items. Um, there's even more reason for me to sort of shimmy up that area. So that's the thing that I'm doing at present, you know. The second thing that I really, really, really am feeling stressed about is the fact that we are going to need a lot of Nook Miles. And uh, I have two switches. One of my islands is fairly new. Um, I've got terraforming and all of that kind of stuff. But in terms of like wealth and knowledge and experience on that island, my character doesn't really have much. So I have about 10,000 Nook Miles and that's stressing me out. So... Um, we are aware and I saw something that said that we're going to need about 150,000 Nook Miles to get everything and all the licenses. I, I can't. I'm dead. I can't. I can't be doing that. I can't be doing that. I'm stressed. Okay. What I would definitely recommend is just going through all of your achievements and things that you might you might not even realize but you might be really really close to achieving some of them and especially if you've got uh, like a stamp sheet with you know, four out of five on it. That fifth one might not be far away, especially if you've been playing for a long time. Uh, also, don't be lazy like me and just leave your Nook Miles accruing. Um, make sure you're like actively accepting them and getting the rewards when you complete something. I'm dreadful at that. Um, I often get shouted on stream <laughs> for stuff like that. So that's another thing I'm going to be doing. I, uh, well, I've got 94,000 Nook Miles. <sighs> And um, I'm a bit stressed, loves. I ain't even gonna lie. I am a bit stressed. But I'm gonna try my hardest to get as many as possible because I don't want the update to drop and I'm gonna be like, ah, I haven't got what I need. So I just wanted to put it out there into the atmosphere. If you are kind of struggling a little bit with Nook Miles, get on those Nook Miles Plus, do all those things every day, keep them ticking over, whether it's like digging up things, planting things, just do it and dig it up again. So you get like the, the points for it or the miles for it. And yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing to prepare for the update. And I'm so excited. As of right now, it's the 19th of October. So it's uh, a few weeks away. But it's getting closer and closer. I'm so excited to see what everyone does. Um, like I said in my previous video, my comeback video, um, please, please, please check out my Twitch and my Twitter. That's where I'm going to be doing most of my building and things like that. I think I prefer YouTube for more like talking through things and guides and how to do bits and bobs. So yes, that is all for now. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!